Unravel is a 2D puzzle platformer where you try to guide Yarny, a little character made of yarn, through a world full of challenges and obstacles. The gameplay is all physics-based. Yarny can push things, pull them, prod them, and they all behave in a realistic manner. Yarny is made from a single strand of wound yarn, which is attached to something at the start of the game. And the farther away from that Yarny gets, the more the yarn unravels. And that really is the core challenge of the game, to make that yarn last all the way to the end of the game, so you can tie it all back together. And those basic yarn interactions, they're simple, but they're very useful. You can throw the front end of the yarn like a grappling hook, or you could grab the yarn that trails behind you, and you can also attach it to things. And those three simple things, they open up a ton of possibilities. They let you climb on the yarn, you can swing on it, you can hoist things, or you can tether things together, connect them. You can grab things that are out of reach, or you could make bridges or ramps, or even slingshots that you can use to launch Yarny high into the air. The gameplay really is like a sandbox. It's easy to interact with on a basic level, but it lets you do really powerful and complex things. We try to have the same approach to puzzle design. We take parts that are simple on their own, but we put them together as beautifully as we can to form a complex whole. We want gameplay that challenges you in many ways. We want to test your cleverness. Some puzzles require you to get really creative with how you use the yarn. And some puzzles have multiple different solutions. Some puzzles require strategy and forethought. What looks like an obvious solution might turn out to be a trap because you only have a limited amount of yarn. Some parts, they will test your courage and your agility. The world can be a dangerous place for someone as small and fragile as Yarny. Challenge really is an important part of the experience. Yarny is on this quest to mend a broken bond, and mending things takes effort. It doesn't happen without challenge. Life will never stop putting obstacles in your way. Ultimately though, Unravel's message is very positive. No matter how complicated or scary things might seem, if you persist and put the effort in, you can overcome pretty much anything, no matter how small you think you are. Unravel's story is told without words, but the places you visit are full of stories. What we don't tell through dialogue, we tell through the world and through the gameplay instead. There are two sides to Unravel's story. There's a past and a present. The story of the past is told through the details, through the things you'll find if you go looking for them. The game world is full of memories and secrets and subtleties and things that hint at the past and how it's all connected. The present is Yarny's story and it's told through moments, through the things you experience, see and do. That's basically the foundation for our level design. We want to create memorable moments and give you the opportunity to make great moments of your own. We want to make levels that can be retold and easily described, that all have their own unique setting and tone, like the sea level, where you jump on rocks down by the seashore, trying to not get washed away by the waves, or the mire, where you battle mosquitoes in the mist. All of those settings are taken from northern Sweden, our home. I made the initial design out in nature when I was out on a camping trip. That environment had such a huge impact on what Unravel became so it's only right that nature gets to play a really big part in the game. We wanted to share a glimpse of home because it means a lot to us, and also because it's not the type of environment you usually see in a video game. Video games tend to go for the fantastical, but Unravel is about the ordinary, about what's out there right outside your door. There's a lot of beauty in the ordinary, and getting down on Yarnia's level helps you really see that. The world is full of beautiful things to find. We worked super hard on making that beauty come across, to capture what those places feel like. It's not about matching it pixel for pixel, but about trying to make their unique atmosphere come across. To show people what it's like to play in the new snow on a sparkling bright winter's day, or just how big of a reward it is when you finally find those berries in the mire. Every place feels different and has something different to say. Every place has links to the past and moments for Yarny to experience. Scary moments, tense ones, precious ones. Moments to explore, and to experiment, to think and to feel. We based Unravel on our home. We wanted to make our game world this beautiful place that you would want to visit and spend time in, lose yourself in. A place that challenges and inspires you. A place that feels like home.
Yarny and Unravel were born out of a single spark of inspiration. I had this thought. What if we could make a game about love? A game where the bonds we form with other people were actual, real, physical bonds, like strands of yarn. And what if you could play as a character that was actually made from that stuff? And that idea kept growing, and the more I thought about it, the more it felt like a real thing, an important thing, a game that needed to be made. Yarn became a symbol of love, of longing and connection. It's the red thread that runs through our lives and ties everything together. The game would be about reaching out, about mending broken bonds. You will play as a little being made from yarn, tethered to something important at the start of the game. And you would try to make it to the end without unraveling, so you could use your yarn to reconnect things that weren't meant to be apart. And that little being became Yarny, a helper, a positive force, this fragile but capable character that you guide through the world, a brave little thing with a huge heart, watches the world with childlike curiosity and wonder, and accomplishes great things despite being so small. I wanted a character that would inspire empathy, that would make you care, because that's a big part of what the game is about, caring and connecting. I created Yarny when I was on a camping trip with my family. I made a doll from materials that I basically scavenged and just started playing with it, and posing it and taking pictures, trying to come up with what the actual game would be like. It was just a really beautiful process. I was out in nature, in such an inspiring environment. I was basically just playing and having fun and trying to capture what that felt like. I had my kids there, and with every new thing that I showed them, I could tell right away if it worked. And now, two years later, I can look back at that summer, and it's quite amazing to see where it all led. That initial spark of inspiration has grown into a real game. Hours of love and hard work have been poured into it and Yarny is already reaching people, forming new bonds. And that's a pretty great feeling. Today we're going to show you a level called the sea. Like all the environments in Unravel, it's based on northern Sweden, our home. It's inspired by happy, sunny memories of going to the coast, both as a child and as a parent. Unravel is a game about reaching out, about mending broken bonds. Yarny has to make it to the end of the game without running out of yarn. You can find more yarn in the levels, like this little ball here, and use it to get further. Sometimes that extra yarn can be hidden or hard to reach. Without yarn, you can't move on, so you have to think about how you use it. Here, you can tie two knots to create a bridge, which also doubles up as a slingshot. You have to be careful though, so Yarny doesn't get washed away. You need something to protect Yarny from the waves, and that boat fender floats, so you can use it as a raft and stay safe. But it's got more uses too, because it's so buoyant. The gameplay is all physics-based. It's got a few touches of magic, but it's grounded in realism. What you do and how you tackle problems is really up to you and your creativity. When things get more difficult, you'll have to think of different ways to combine Yarny's abilities or use things in the environment to find the way forward. This looks like a dead end. That's way too high to jump. It's a good thing you can use your yarn to climb out. Okay, let's think this through and try another approach. Yarny needs that raft again, but getting it over to the other side is going to be a little bit tricky. We're gonna have to build a couple of yarn bridges. You see, those yarn bridges, they can carry objects too, so you can make one to get the fender out of the water. When you've done that, you can build another bridge and use that to move the fender over the wooden post. And 
now you can push your little raft in place and you can cross the water safely, or well, fairly safe anyway. As you can see, the gameplay is about overcoming obstacles, about using yarn and the environment to find the path forward. But there are many other kinds of moments beyond the obstacles. Moments of reflection, of wonder, of beauty and discovery. With Unravel, we want to capture your imagination and test your cleverness and touch your heart. Hi, I'm Martin and we're at Coldwood today and we're gonna make a yarny doll. First thing, you're gonna need some wire, some yarn, obviously, red and white paper clips, wires, uh, scissors, might be good. So the first thing you build is like a, a wire skeleton. I make like a U-shape for the legs and the body. So there's my body and my legs, pretty good. And the next part is uh, the arms. So once again, I'll go like a double length. And the next step is to just like try to stick these to the body. So what I do is just I put them here and I take a piece of wire and I just twist it around to lock it in place. Okay, so next part, uh, the head. So it's a good idea to exaggerate the points of the, the ears a bit. Uh, and the way I attach the head to the, to the body as well is just I leave a lot of excess wire and then I kind of wrap it around these to just lock it on there. So it's starting to look like something. The next part is, is 
kind of optional, but I think it's better. So you make a bit of a frame for the body. And it's also good to, to make the legs more possible because you can kind of put more wire around the hips so you know where to bend them. Good to put some frame like this on the head as well because then you can sort of build up the volume a bit, something like that. Now we have a skeleton yarn. Now we start to wrap this stuff up in yarn. I start with the legs. Uh, you can wrap it pretty tightly. Uh, actually, you can just kind of like mix it up, wrap some loose loops and some harder ones. So, moving on to wrap the body. This is gonna take a while. Uh, what I do usually is that I make some kind of overlap here. So it's like a, a loose hanging shirt or a dress or whatever. Just try to give it, like try to make it slightly wider here and slightly thinner here. Uh, you can kind of see the shape of the wire through it. So you can try to hide that. Okay, uh, moving on to the head then. It's not super hard, but it's kind of tricky. Just kind of wanna be mindful of the shape so you don't start to get too blobby somewhere. Uh, and then when I'm done with that, I'm just gonna basically use the paper clip and sew the wire in. So this is this is gonna look brutal. So sensitive viewers might wanna might not watch when I stab yarn through the heart with a paper clip. <laughs> And I can do that a couple of times until I know that this is not going to come out. So now, this one just needs some ice. And I do them the same way. Just take some yarn, take the paper clip, and just... So there's no like real strategy to this. I just kind of poke it in there and see what happens. So there it is. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys create. Uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, good luck and have fun. And thanks for watching.
and just like try to stick these to the body. So what I do is just I put them here and I take a piece of wire and I just twist it around to lock it in place. Okay, so next part, uh, the head. So it's a good idea to exaggerate the points of the, the ears a bit. Uh, and the way I attach the head to the, to the body as well is just I leave a lot of excess wire and then I kind of wrap it around these to just lock it on there. So it's starting to look like something. The next part is, is kind of optional, but I think it's better. So you make a bit of a frame for the body and it's also good to, to make the legs more possible because you can kind of put more wire around the hips so you know where to bend them. Good to put some frame like this on the head as well because then you can sort of build up the volume a bit, something like that. Now we have skeleton yarn. Now we start to wrap this stuff up in yarn. I start with the legs. Uh, you can wrap it pretty tightly. Uh, actually, you can kind of like mix it up, wrap some loose loops and some harder ones. So, moving on to wrap the body. This is gonna take a while. Uh, what I do usually is that I make some kind of overlap here. So it's like a, a loose hanging shirt or a dress or whatever. Just try to give it, like try to make it slightly wider here and slightly thinner here. Uh, you can kind of see the shape of the wire through it. So you can try to hide that. Okay, uh, moving on to the head then. It's not super hard, but it's kind of tricky. It's kind of want to be mindful of the shape so you don't start to get too blobby somewhere. Uh, and then when I'm done with that, I'm just gonna basically use the paper clip and sew the wire in. So this is this is gonna look brutal, so sensitive viewers might wanna might not watch when I stab yarning through the heart with a paper clip. <laughs> And I can do that a couple of times until I know that this is not going to come out. So now, this one just needs some ice. And I do them the same way. Just take some yarn, take the paper clip, and just... So there's no like real strategy to this. I just kind of poke it in there and see what happens. So there it is. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys create. Uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, good luck and have fun. And thanks for watching. As you can see, the gameplay is about overcoming obstacles, about using yarn and the environment to find the path forward. But there are many other kinds of moments beyond the obstacles, moments of reflection, of wonder, of beauty and discovery. With Unravel, we want to capture your imagination and test your cleverness and touch your heart.
Yarn can be hidden or hard to reach. Without yarn, you can't move on, so you have to think about how you use it. Here, you can tie two knots to create a bridge, which also doubles up as a slingshot. You have to be careful though, so yarn doesn't get washed away. You need something to protect Yarny from the waves. And that boat fender floats, so you can use it as a raft and stay safe. But it's got more uses too, because it's so buoyant. The gameplay is all physics-based. It's got a few touches of magic, but it's grounded in realism. What you do and how you tackle problems is really up to you and your creativity. When things get more difficult, you'll have to think of different ways to combine Yarny's abilities or use things in the environment to find the way forward. This looks like a dead end. That's way too high to jump. It's a good thing you can use your yarn to climb out. Okay, let's think this through and try another approach. Yarny needs that raft again, but getting it over to the other side is going to be a little bit tricky. We're going to have to build a couple of yarn bridges. You see, those yarn bridges, they can carry objects too. So you can make one to get the fender out of the water. And when you've done that, you can build another bridge and use that to move the fender over the wooden post. And now you can push your little raft in place and you can cross the water safely. Or well, fairly safe anyway. As you can see, the gameplay is about overcoming obstacles, about using yarn and the environment to find the path forward. But there are many other kinds of moments beyond the obstacles, moments of reflection of wonder, of beauty, and discovery. With Unravel, we want to capture your imagination and test your cleverness and touch your heart.